What's going on y'all? It's Henry from the PSI Defense Channel again with a short informational video. Uh, we're going to talk about relief valve adjustment and velocity screw adjustment today. Um, as you know, with your FSC and Tiberius T8.1 markers, um, you have a velocity adjustment screw right here. And inside there's a relief valve as well. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, older misinformation about uh, high power tuning and what to do with that screw and I've run into some issues uh, with doing it the wrong way and I have some new information for you guys so uh, what I like to do with my tools I, I use these uh, these are actually barrel covers that come with your markers uh, they're for paint ballers to keep your barrel clean so you don't break paint and whatnot but uh, not so much of an issue with us uh, less lethal guys so I use them as tool bags so with this one I keep all the size Allen keys that I have for markers and if I do tear downs or anything that's what I use there I actually got a few extra detents in there as well so I'll have them readily accessible to swap but with this one all I have is two Allen keys for velocity adjustment so as many of you know the larger Allen key, which is the biggest one that comes with any of your First Strike or Tiberius markers, it goes right in that hole. Goes right in that hole, and you turn it clockwise to increase the velocity. Counterclockwise will reduce the velocity. <clears throat> if you don't have a chronograph, which I highly recommend you get one, um, because if not, you're just guessing and you're not uh, running at the best efficiency for. Um, all shots across your bag if that's what you want or you just don't know what you're shooting at or if you're wasting CO2 or, or whatever so it's good to have a chrono it's good investment but you stick your largest allen key in there <clears throat> if you don't have a chrono you can tighten it all the way until it won't turn anymore and then however many turns you back it off full turns or uh, one and a half turns two and a half turns three turns whatever that will be like your setting of course, that's just a guess. Some people say, well, I get 300 FPS from Grimberg's at uh, three and a half turns from max or whatever. Um, if you don't have a chrono, it, it's kind of it, it'll work, but get a chrono. So uh, what has been said is you adjust your velocity to where you want it. Then after every single adjustment, you take this smaller Allen key and you will find there's a hole that it fits in. And you just snug that you tighten it all the way after every single adjustment because it comes loose yada 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 what that actually is it's a relief valve and what that means is um, in here is the pressure chamber or heat core and that builds up pressure and then releases the firing bolt which fires your projectiles so uh, a lot of times that builds up excess pressure and it won't really allow the bolt to go back and seat properly so that's where that relief valve comes into play and I've had my markers at higher velocity and had that relief valve close all the way to where it won't return. It'll do some funky uh, multiple shots per single trigger pull or or stay the bolt will stay forward and expel all your gas and uh, just not reliable that way. So the relief valve is a is a um, safety feature and it's necessary or they wouldn't have put it in there. So I'm going to show you guys how to adjust that um, a little bit about that let's see where's my spring pad so um, on my first marker um, you know not not knowing exactly what that was all about I, I watched some videos and then I tightened it down after every velocity adjustment and I over tightened it I tightened it too much I thought oh, you know I cranked on it too much um, you know when you know better you do better right so um, at that point, I didn't know better, so I cranked it down and I yeah, completely uh, messed up the functioning of my T8.1. I was heartbroken. Um, found out who told me about that. One of, one of the, the tech guys, I think maybe PB Sports or ANS Gear, somebody told me that this is what I was going to need to replace my spring pad. <clears throat> You'll find that some of the technical support out there is, eh, you know, some people don't know what you're talking about, but sometimes you will find a guy who knows exactly what you're talking about and they'll point you in the right direction or they'll actually get you some legit info instead of just trying to 
act like they know what they're talking about. But this is the spring pad and your velocity adjustment screws here and your regulator spring sits on top of this spring pad. Um, and this goes into um, the ball bearing valve that is in the end of your regulator. But um, there's a cap that goes on top of the regulator screw and this tightens it down and it adjusts your velocity. And then your relief valve is right in the center. And that is a, Allen, a hollow Allen bolt. Under there is a very tiny spring. And at the end of that very tiny spring is an O-ring. And if you over tighten that, you can damage that O-ring. It can get stuck in there. It can clog up the hole. It can just cause all kinds of problems. And what I ended up having to do, I tried to get in there and remove the, the O-ring, which was impossible because it was dug into it so much by me putting way too much pressure on that spring and on the O-ring. And it basically destroyed that spring pad so i had to buy another one I've, I've looked recently for somebody else and everybody's out of stock so best thing to do is not to over tighten it just to be careful and cautious knowing that there's some delicate parts inside of there <clears throat> okay so you set your velocity to where you want it now you want to have the proper um, relief valve spring tension so what i'm doing since i'm in the house i've got an empty mag uh, always be careful because uh, if you shoot these things in the house and you're not shooting at some kind of trap or some type of thing you've rigged at, I don't recommend shooting them in the house because you will damage some stuff. You know, if you have uh, flat screen TVs or uh, anything valuable that you don't want to be destroyed, take it outside. I've got a firing range in my dirty garage. I've built a trap. You know, I'll, I'll show you guys that in another video. Um, but you need to gas it up. So empty mag. CO2. If you're going to own these markers, if you're going to live this less lethal life, I recommend uh, investing in a lot of CO2 if you don't have an HPA tank. Um, I prefer CO2, so that's the way I go. Uh, I got this case of 100 from, um, from uh, Amazon. Uh, it was relatively inexpensive. Uh, also, when you're in Walmart, just check it out, you know. Got these 40 packs. I think they were like 13 and some change each. That's like 30 some cents per uh, cartridge, which is a great buy. So, you know, just stock up because, you know, there's going to be testing. Uh, you should always test fire. You shouldn't just set your marker where you want it and put it, uh, you know, it, it's not gunpowder. So it's not going to just be exactly the way you put it back. It's air, it's valves. Uh, they're prone to leak. Um, you don't know if you have good CO2s or not, you know, there's so many factors. So you def definitely want to shoot your markers if you're using these for home defense, uh, test them regularly, clean, oil them regularly, all that good stuff if you want it for reliable home defense. Uh, so I've got a new CO2 cartridge in. Okay, so listen for your click. Very snappy click, that's what you want. You want a very snappy, strong sounding click. If you have like a mushy click, or it's kind of a slow, lazy click, uh, then you've got some issues you need to sort out and your your uh, marker is not gonna be firing properly. So I've got it, I've got it gassed up. I'm gonna keep the safety on because I don't want to shoot it in the house. Even without ammo, uh, it's loud. My wife is gonna wake up and she'll get mad at me. So you set your velocity to where you want it. <clears throat> now you need to set your relief valve. So what you do is you take the smaller Allen key, you stick it in there, and then you turn it counterclockable clockwise we're uh, loosening this just until you hear it hiss and then you tighten it till it stops listen to it close because it's still I don't know if you guys can hear this but it's still hissing very quietly and you also need to take the allen key out because if that's in there it sounds like it stopped hissing so um, once you get it to stop hissing you want to go about an eighth or a sixteenth of a turn, just a little bit past where it's no longer hissing. And be very delicate with these adjustments. Like I said, you know, you want it. There we go. Yeah, we're good. So you want it to be able to release the pressure so you can have, the, have your marker function properly so you don't damage internal parts, so your bolts don't get stuck forward, so you're you know, one trigger pull fires one uh, round downrange and 
you know, when you pull it out, it works like it's supposed to. So uh, that is relief valve setting for you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. Um, let's see. Uh, if you have any questions about this uh, awesome grip tape I got, I believe it's uh, Falcon Grips. They make actual grip sleeves, but since the ergonomics of the T8.1 just feels so amazing, I just wanted a little bit more aggressive uh, grip and the contrasting looks pretty incredible to me so i think that works out i'll throw a link that, to that down there um throw a link to that big box of co2 on amazon um the balder mini of course uh i would throw a link but the easiest way to get one of these i would say is uh keep looking on olight's website uh, when they run sales um, i actually got this one on ebay um, from a reputable seller and it was during the Balder sale, and then they actually um, was selling it for a little bit less. So I think I got this for around 80 bucks. They usually run 120, 130 dollars. Uh, awesome light, um, highly recommended. So uh, that's my video for today. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, thumbs up, share, let people know about the channel. The more uh, uh, engagements I get, the more uh, potential for uh, sponsorships and things of that nature and i'm just going to put it right back into the channel for more content for you guys so uh, best of luck always stay safe keep your markers maintained take care of yourselves